Okay, so let's jump right straight into the course. Um, like earlier I said, this course is going to be an AI literacy for professionals. I know it's written here professionals, but really it's not just for professionals. It's for anybody who is interested in learning AI, anyone who works in the field of technology and whose company is leveraging AI systems for business owners, for students, um, those just looking to trans transition um, in their career. So it's really just for everyone who uses AI and I'm assuming everyone today um, uses AI, right? Because we all have smartphones, except you don't, um, but at least a huge, like a bunch of people are actually using it. Okay. Um, I already did an introduction of myself. If you haven't watched it, I would highly advise you watch the previous video before this one so you can see why i am positioned to give you this course in that video i don't think i mentioned the fact that i have um, a phd in information technology and i specialized in augmented reality which also places me in a very strong place to you know deliver this course because i've studied the systems at different and variable uh, varied levels um you know and of course, um, I am also an AI governance and risk management lead. Excuse me, just fixing my camera. And then a cloud solutions architect. I've been in the past former diplomat. So these are just different things that um, or different positions I've, hold, I've held. And um, I do explain in the previous video how these all align and give me that strong background to you know present this course and the AI governance course to you as well now let's look at why ai literacy matters as we had explained before um basically daily life integration already embedded in your daily lives you know every tool the tools we use every day smartphones social media shopping recommendations navigation systems um netflix recommendations just everything around us is now governed by AI. Whether we like it or not, we can't ex escape it. It's right in our faces. So it's important that we, you know, understand exactly what these are and how they're affecting us. And then one of the very <clears throat> important reasons to me um, is career relevance, right? There's a statistic that says um, recruiters are looking for people who are highly skilled in AI and usually 25% of those people receive, um, no, not 25%, you would usually receive a salary increase of about 25%, right? Um, when you have an AI skill somehow, so it really does boost and increase your visibility, especially when you're, you know, looking at transforming your job, just upskilling, looking at getting um, a promotion, finding a new job, this really helps a lot. And then of course, empowerment. It just basically empowers you, um, gives you personal empowerment, you gain confidence and control over your digital space um, and helps you just thrive technologically within you know, our advanced society, right? And then of course, um, informed decisions. It helps you make thoughtful decisions uh, using AI power tools, you know what tools to use, when, how to leverage them to your benefit and understand their capabilities and their limitations. And then of course, combat misinformation. This one is also huge because of compliance and ethical reasons, right? And we're learning today to identify AI generated content from misinformation. We know how much our social media feeds in particular are being bombarded or flooded with all these AI generated images and videos that are just really deceitful um, and you sometimes you don't even know to differentiate if it's AI or not it's bringing out a lot of emotions um, and just ethically um, it's wrong right but somehow we have to navigate it and walk across that path so knowing how to protect yourself from these deceptive narratives <laughs> and online manipulation is really going to help. And then of course, we're also looking at privacy and data implications, which is also really, really huge. 
because understanding how AI systems collect, process, use your data, personal data, um, is very important to you. We give out a lot of information um, because of ignorance. You would be shocked or surprised how much your information is out there. You know, all these cookies you just go sign and accept on the internet, um, giving out your email addresses and your phone numbers to all sorts of websites because you want to benefit from one thing or the other. You don't know where it's being sold. And sometimes you actually sit and you're getting all these spam calls from numbers you didn't even know or organizations you didn't even know or businesses you didn't even know existed because your information has been sold to them to third, you know, to these third party um, businesses operating, you know, and it's really, really affecting us. Um, so privacy is huge and knowing how to just protect yourself from this is going to help a lot. Then of course, policy engagement, right? Just participating in meaningful discussions about AI ethics, regulations, and the societal impact, you know, that will help shape responsible AI development, either within your personal surrounding, within your organization, within your business, is really going to help. And it will help reduce some of those compliance fines or regulatory fines that are being placed at different companies at different times. Almost every day, a company is paying a compliance fine, a regulatory fine. They're taking down this AI system or someone is being sued because they used AI the wrong way. Just knowing this is going to help you save either yourself, your business, or your company um, a lot, a lot of money. Now, I spoke about AI governance, and at this point we're going to ask, why, why does it even matter, right? Why am I talking about AI governance? Why are we looking at AI governance? Why is it important in today's world? So basically, um, if you look at these statistics, Google searches in the last five years have surged 730%, not 100%, not 10%, not 20, 730. It tells you how much or the importance of AI governance in today's society, right? Uh, community growth just within the responsible AI membership has also increased 400 by 433% since 2023. Then, of course, about 510 job postings have surged on LinkedIn. Just open up your LinkedIn today, go look for jobs on AI governance, AI risk management, AI governance and risk management, AI ethics, responsible AI leads and all that. You will be surprised at how many jobs are being posted today, right? And if you even go to Google or use one of your large language models like a chat GPT or Gemini, ask some of the AI proof jobs in today's society, AI governance and ethics is one of the top AI proof jobs in today's society. So even if you're just looking at a career change or considering a career change, understanding AI fundamentals is really crucial, you know, to help you navigate through this AI governance um, and responsibilities, right? So just, it's just important because it's going to help you. It basically includes adopting frameworks or governance frameworks and foundations and um, the internet to complex, just navigating the complex landscape of artificial intelligence and bringing you up to date, you know. So, um, the learning outcomes, what do I expect or what is expected from you after you have taken this course, right? So the core knowledge, understanding the fundamentals, machine learning, neural networks, um, large language models, small language models, generative AI, and all that, just understanding how they are, how they work explaining how technologies work and their business applications, recognizing AI opportunities and limitations across the industry. Now, um, also strategic skills, developing AI adoption strategies that you know align with business goals, creating governance frameworks that manage AI risk, evaluating or build versus buy decisions and select vendors, then leading, you know, AI transformation initiatives, right? <clears throat> 
and here um, basically just to put it in short words we have the core knowledge strategic skills practical application risk and ethics and it basically just boils down to speaking the language speaking the AI language confidently um, discussing AI concepts with your technical teams, understanding what vendors are actually offering, asking the right questions within your team or your organization or your business, then also spotting and recognizing when AI systems might fail or cause harm, identifying bias, fairness, transparency issues, um, knowing when to raise all those red flags. This is the risk and ethics, you know, when it comes to risk and ethics, identifying and mitigating those biases, navigating the regulatory requirements, making informed decisions about automation, building um, ethical AI culture, right, are very important. So by the end of this course, you should be able at least to do 50, at least, if not 60 to 70 percent of all these things we're talking about, right, because it's going to help you lead with confidence help you guide your organization's AI strategy, help you build um, or bridge the gap between the technical and the non-technical teams, um, prepare for all those AI governance requirements that are coming your way to your company or your business. And you know, it's one thing I want to mention is that it's not a programming course. We're not going to do any programming here. We're not going to be writing any code. Um, it's also not a data science bootcamp. We won't be building models. Um, it's basically, a, it's just basically a course that would help you understand the basics of AI. I will at some point take you through labs to know how some of these are built or how you can leverage them, particularly with risks and ethics. However, we're not, not going to look at, you know, um, do any programming whatsoever it's just a practical accessible comprehensive introduction of to how ai systems works how, how how ai systems work how they are used in business and what you need to know to work with them responsibly so that is what this course is basically about and these are some of the outcomes we're expecting to get you know from taking um from taking this course now let's look at the modules, right? Um, how is this course structured? So for the curriculum, um, we're going to look at AI foundations and the core concepts, where we'll just be understanding AI, looking at the AI technology uh, stack, and then of course, examining the risks and ethics, right? And then the second module, we're going to look at the AI strategy and implementation, which is basically just the governance and um, governance and strategy. And then of course, project management, how AI is used in project management. And then for our business leaders, we'll look at business transformation, we'll look at the different industry applications of AI, then the strategic considerations, and we'll have a capstone project, you know, and this capstone project will basically be to help you implement what you learned during this course, right? And then, of course, we're going to have assessments, different quizzes, which we're going to be great at, both practice and theory, and then, of course, a final exam. And then we're going to have hands-on labs. The labs are going to be optional, but I highly, highly recommend you take them because they do... Um, require it, 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 they, they just basically are going to help you um, connect with everything that was taught right and then who is this course for it's going to be for business leaders project managers product managers policy professionals consultants students those wanting to change their career basically just anyone like I said initially anyone interested you know in learning understanding AI in different ways so if you're listening to this or if you're taking this course, um, chances are you're already working with AI, I would assume, in some capacity, or you will be working with AI soon. Or maybe you're just evaluating AI vendors and don't know what questions to ask uh, or questions to ask. You're uh, maybe being asked to implement AI and you're not sure where to start, you're concerned about risks, but you cannot really articulate, you know, what these risks actually are. Um, 
or maybe you're just intellectually curious about how all of these actually work right and wherever you're coming from i think this course will really feed you the information you need um, and you're looking for now um what i'll try to do in this course or the way i'm trying to structure this course or the way i've structured it basically um i I'm not going to give you any jargon without explaining what that technical term is and what it does in plain language so you can understand. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I'm also going to use some sort of a real world grounding, right? Every concept will be connected to a practical example, either from an actual business or real situation so you can relate to it. Then um, I would also try not to, you know, just dumb things down or oversimplify them too much, right? Because AI is complex, um, but complexity doesn't mean you can't comprehend or understand it, right? So I trust that you can grasp or understand the sophisticated concepts when they are well explained, um, you know. So yeah, this is basically what we're going to be doing in the course. And again, I'm excited to be on this journey with you. Um, I've taught this course and content to a couple of executives and policy makers and some students and professionals uh, in a very, um, I don't want to say indirect, but not putting it out there the way I am now. And from the feedback I got, you know, that is why I am now seeing some of those aha moments that just basically make me feel like people do need this and they've asked that i put this some of us that i put this out there you know so they can also click with it um especially when the fog of confusion comes in and people realize oh i actually understand this now oh now this means a lot you know that's my goal for you as well so let's get started um with what artificial intelligence actually is and um we'll move forward from there